Maker, and welcome to the Eclair Makery Podcast. I am your host, Claire Goodale, and today I have an awesome episode chock full of lots of yarn mail that I've gotten over the last week. I have so much We Crochet yarn to show you. I'm so excited. They sent me a ton of stuff that I'm going to be reviewing and using for all of my fall and winter designs, and I am so excited to share it with you. I've also got um, some Lion Brand yarn that I've gotten recently. I have some Sorella yarn, my Knit Crate, and a couple other things that I am loving right now, and I can't wait to show you. So let's go ahead and jump right in and if you stay till the end you might hear a little bit of an update on my book and see some sneak peeks of some of the designs in there. I have been spending most of my time recently <laughs> working on my book so unfortunately I don't have any like sneak peeks of upcoming designs to share with you. Um, I do have a pattern coming out next week that I will share about but otherwise <laughs> it's going to be mostly yarn, which is, we all know that's what you're here for anyway. So let's go ahead and jump right into one of my first pieces of yarn mail this week, which is my knit crate. So I have been getting knit crates for a while now. I think it's been almost two years that I've been getting them. Um, sometimes I skip months, sometimes I don't. If you've never heard of Knit Crate, it is a yarn subscription box. So they offer knit and crochet patterns. They send you about two skeins of yarn every month. And then they have different designers who create patterns. They have like socks, um, a lot of times it's shawls, or sometimes there's a garment thrown in there. But I um, gotta admit, I did take a little sneak peek at this month. So let's go ahead and open it and I will show you how amazing the yarn is for, I believe this is July's. I think, yeah, I believe this is July's one. So I got really, really, really excited when I saw this because this is just totally my color. Um, one of my favorite shades of purple and pink. Isn't this just so beautiful? I got so excited when I saw this and oh, it made me so, so happy. And the best part about it is it's Pima cotton. If you have never used Pima cotton, it is some of the softest cotton that you will ever work with. I love it. If I ever have a chance to work with it, I would totally seize that chance. And I love designing with it. It creates the most amazing drape ever. And just look at how beautiful these colors are. Oh. So this is in the colorway Hustle. So this is the, um, I believe this is the warm color. Um, Knit Crate has a couple different options that you can get when you buy it. Um, they have a warm, uh, I think it's called Energize Me, and then there's a Cool Tones one that you can get that's usually shades of blue, and then there is a neutral one, and then there's a surprise option, so they'll just send you a random one. I usually wear warmer tones, um, so, and I mean, this color almost matches my shirt, <laughs> um, but I really like warm tones, so I always pick the Energize Me one, um, and I was really excited because in here, they also include a Tunisian crochet hook. <gasps> I never really work with Tunisian. Um, I think I know how to do like two stitches and I've only made a swatch, but it is my goal that during this year, I will learn Tunisian crochet. I will do Tunisian crochet color work because if there is a form of color work that I can do, I <laughs> want to do it. So, um, this is the pattern for the crochet that goes with this month's. It is so beautiful. And it was designed by Michelle Costa of Stitch and Hustle. So that she made, here's like the different colorways that I was talking about, how you can get the, the Energize Me, the um, Natural, and then the Chill Out, which is a purple one this month. And then they include like, oh, you could get a sock yarn one. And then here are all the patterns for this month. I love just having these little booklets on hand. I gotta admit, I have not made a single pattern from one of them, but I'm sure you're in the same place and you <laughs> love collecting patterns as well. So I got, oh, I'm just so excited about this month's yarn. And I wish that summer wasn't almost over because then I would totally wanna design with this. So I might save this till next summer. 
we'll see. Um, but one thing I also love about Knit Crate is that on the back of all of their pattern booklets, they give you a little sneak peek as to what is coming the next month. So next month's theme is, I think it's Vividarium, and it has like, here's all the inspiration photos. There's a cactus. I love cactus. Um, and then there's some really, really pretty jewel tones. I love, love, love jewel tones. Hence why I love, love, love this color of yarn. So that is the knit crate that I got and I had to share it with you because I got so excited about it and I know that you'll get excited about yarn too and that you will totally want it. So I'll go ahead and set that aside and let's move on to the next bit of yarn that I got in the mail. So you guys know that I am a huge fan of Sorella yarn. I have, I think, three designs <laughs> planned for this fall and winter using their hand dyed yarn. I love hand dyed yarn. I am gonna have a video soon that talks all about um, showing you my hand dyed yarn collection up close because I have a lot of it. Um, and I got really excited when they had their Bon Voyage collection, which was their July collection. And I love how they do a monthly theme. They totally switch it up every month. And um, then it's, feels really exclusive if you get some of the yarn from there. Um, so I got a bunch of their colorways. I think I got a total of five because I saw this yarn. It's themed after a road trip and travel and I love doing all of that. And I had this idea for a sweater so I totally had to get it and I'm really excited to share with you the colors. So the first one is this beautiful blush color, sparkling rosé. Isn't this just the most beautiful little pink? Oh, I love this so, so much. Then there's the campground, which is this really beautiful brick red color. I really, really like this one. Um, then there's road trip. Oh, the inspiration photo for this one was a vintage camper van driving through Yosemite, and I live about two hours from Yosemite, um, pretty much as close as you can live in a city close to it. So <laughs> I uh, got really excited when I saw this and knew I had to make a sweater inspired by that. And here's another skein of that yarn that I got. Um, I, one thing that I really want to try out in my designs this fall is I want to test having variegated yarns as the base of the sweater. I started seeing um, a couple of my testers, they were trying that out where they were using variegated tones and it created a really beautiful texture and a new spin on color work. So you know I love spins on color work. So I wanna try that out. And so this will be the base of the sweater. And then I also have, um, along with these colors, I'm gonna be getting uh, two skeins of the Maui yarn from Sorella's collection at the beginning of this month and there's just this beautiful white toned yarn and I'm so excited to mix it with this especially when you see these colors let me get them <laughs> um, here's Shakespeare in the Park just the most gorgeous um, teal color it's just so beautiful I am completely in love with it and then here is the golden pineapple colorway. Ugh, when I saw this, I knew I needed to get it because it's just so pretty. So here are all of them together. Woo! <laughs> um, I think they're gonna make an amazing sweater. This one is going to be um, inspired by um, a compass, which I know it might sound a little weird, but I started looking at uh, different pictures of compasses, uh, just like the really intricate Victorian fancy compass roses. And I just knew immediately when I saw that, that I needed to make a sweater of a compass rose on the yoke. So it will have a compass rose on the yoke. There will be um, like little points that will point you in different directions. I might even have little letters on there as well. And then the bottom will have something travel inspired. For some reason my head keeps going back to ships. I don't know if I'll do that. It might just be plain in the body, but it's going to be a compass sweater inspired by adventure and I'm really excited about that. At first I was going to use my Italy yarn that will be coming from Explorer Knits, 
but when I saw these colors, these looked so vintage and pretty, and I can come up with another sweater idea for the other yarn that I got. So this yarn is going to be a compass rose sweater. Really excited to see how that comes together. Hopefully it will work. <laughs> You'll, I will keep you posted. Um, I am almost done with my whole book process, I have about a month left of writing it and doing the designs for it. And so I've just been crocheting that. And then once I'm done with that, then I'm gonna start on that sweater and a bunch of the other sweaters that I have planned. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into all of this week crochet yarn that I got in the mail. I have a lot, two giant boxes full of yarn and products from their website. So excited. Let's just say I love being a brand ambassador for We Crochet. It's so much fun. I get to try so many different yarns and I just love sharing them with you because I know that you guys will love all these yarns too. So let's go ahead and take a peek at it. So I won't have this on my lap because let's just say these boxes, they're pretty large and they're about half the size of me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they're not really something that I can carry very well. I had to drag them, I think, into my yarn room. Um, but I am really excited to show all these yarns to you. You guys are basically getting a sneak peek as to all the colors and yarn that I will be using in my upcoming designs. So let's go ahead and start with this yarn right here. I don't know if you guys have ever tried faux fur yarn. But I am a huge fan of faux fur yarn. I don't know why I love it so much. I know that it can be a little bit hard to work with, but I love how extremely soft it is and I am all about cozy things, cozy items to wear. And so I love designing with it. If you guys have seen my um, Pinewood pillow, you know that, that I love faux fur. It's such a fun pillow to make. And I might actually come out with a video tutorial for that pattern because that is one of my most popular designs. It's super fun to make and I know that everyone loves it so much. So I got really excited when I saw that We Crochet has faux fur yarn as well. I love Lion Brand's Go for Faux Yarn, but I also love all of the different uh, color palettes that We Crochet's faux fur yarn has. So the first one that I've got here, I think you pronounce it Eyes Bar, but this is their Fable Fur Yarn. It's, this is a creamy white color. It's a super bulky yarn made from 100% polyester. Um, and it has just the most lovely shade of cream. And it, so far from touching it, it doesn't seem like it sheds a lot. I know that with some faux fur yarns, they shed, but this one looks so far like it probably won't. Then I also got it in this Mishka colorway. This one <laughs> reminds me um, of a little dog, <laughs> like a little Pomeranian. I think Lion Brand has a colorway similar to this and it's Pomeranian. Um, but look at how fun this is. I love all the texture that the different um, shades of brown on this yarn look like. Um, and then this one is very similar. Uh, I can't pronounce it, so I'm not going to butcher it <laughs> with how I say it. Uh, but this is one of their other ones. It's also a neutral toned one. It has different shades of brown and a little bit of gray mixed in there. So this one is more of tan browns. Uh, this one looks like to a toasted marshmallow. That's what this one looks like. And then this one is just the most pretty brown shaded one with a lot of like white speckles in there. And then we've got this really pretty color, Paloma. It's a blush pink faux fur. How fun is that? Um, and it's this all the same yarn line. It's just all these different colors that they have. And then this one is my favorite. It is this rose, dusty rose colored faux fur yarn. Isn't this just the prettiest color ever? I got super excited when I saw this one because it is in my favorite color, uh, Dusty Rose, love pink. So if you're curious as to what I'm gonna be making with this, let me get all of these picked up again so you can see them all together. But I am going to be designing a sweater with all of these. So here's what they look like all together. I'm gonna make a gingham sweater out of this. 
I am determined. I saw a fuzzy sweater online, got really excited about that. Totally wanted to add that um, into my design list for this year. So I have all of these really, really pretty faux fur yarns. And then let's go ahead and jump into the next yarns. I have never, I haven't actually used most of these yarns that I got. So I'm really excited to try all of them. Um, but when I got this color, this yarn in the mail, I got really, I was instantly in love with it and totally needed to use it in most of my designs. This is the Provincial Tweed Yarn from We Crochet. It is a super wash fine Highland wool. It's 80% of that and then 20% Donegal Tweed. It's a worsted weight yarn. And I was worried that it was going to be a little scratchy um, or it wasn't gonna be super soft, but this is some of the softest tweed yarn I have ever felt. I think I need at least 10 sweaters <laughs> in this. So I got these really pretty colorways in it. Um, this is the Salsa Verde colorway. It's this gorgeous, uh, I think it would be like a hunter green or olive green. This one is a, uh, let's see, what is this one? This is cream, pretty basic and great. And then this is Lakeshore. I love this colorway. It reminds me a lot of the Shakespeare in the Park colorway, but a little bit lighter with uh, lighter tones mixed in with that darker blue. It's so beautiful. I am super excited to work with it. And then this color, it is pumpkin pie. I am a sucker for burnt orange yarns. <laughs> and this one is so pretty. Just look at that. It's just gorgeous. I highly recommend this yarn. Haven't even started working with it yet, but totally want to design everything with it. Oh, I can tell already that I am in love with it. Okay, so the next yarn I have is for another sweater design that I have planned for this year. I have a lot of sweater designs planned. Um, I am a huge fan of tweed yarns, so I wanted to make sure that I incorporated a lot of tweed into my fall designs and my winter designs as well. Tweed can be for winter too. But this yarn is Wool of the Andes Tweed Yarn in Worsted Weight. So this is Peruvian Highland Wool and 20% Donegal Tweed. So it feels very similarly to the Provincial Tweed Yarn, but this one um, does feel a little bit more wool-like, so a little bit scratchier because this isn't super wash, I believe, but it's still very soft. And I think this would be a really awesome sweater or cardigan. Um, so I got this one in these three different colors and I love this sarsaparilla heather. This one is Wellies heather. And then this one is apple blossom heather. I think this is the best color ever. It is dusty rose again, but just a lighter tone. So. This yarn is going to be a leopard sweater. Um, probably maybe a leopard cardigan. I am not completely sure yet which one I wanna do. So if you wanna see a leopard cardigan or a leopard sweater, please let me know which one you would like to see in the comments below, because I need help choosing what to do with this. Um, I, it will for sure be some sort of leopard design though. So here all of them together, I, was, I always get really excited when the colors that I choose actually work because half the time I see them online and I'm like, I sure hope that this yarn works in person. And this time it did with all of the colors. Um, the next yarn I have, I've been wanting to try this one for a while because I just think it's a really awesome basic yarn that We Crochet has. So I have their Brava Worsted Weight yarn and then the Brava Bulky Weight yarn. So this is, I, I think the closest thing I could compare this to would be like Lion Brand's uh, Vanna's Choice or uh, Basic Stitch yarn. So I have it in a couple different colors. I've got it in, uh, this one is, let's see, where's the color? Oh, this one's in wine and this is a bulky. This one is in uh, seraphim. It's this gorgeous lavender color. I love it. And then this one is persimmon. I love this orange color. It's like an orange red blend, super pretty, perfect for fall. I am really excited to work with it. 
I still am not completely sure exactly what the designs are going to be for these different yarns. Um, I got a lot of the Seraphim just because it's so pretty. So probably some sort of poncho or some sort of sweater. I am fully investing in all of the garments this fall. Um, <laughs> lots and lots of garments. And I also got this cream colorway and the bulky weight yarn, which this cream, I feel, um, for some reason, this really reminds me of vanilla um, soft serve ice cream from Froster's Freeze. I don't know why that <laughs> this makes me think of that, but I'm just getting these flashbacks of me as a kid going to one and this is the color that it looks like. It is very, I would say it's not a usual cream color. Um, it's more of, has like orange and pink shades to it. So it's definitely one more of a warmer toned cream color versus a more neutral cream color. So uh, this is the bulky weight one, which I'm excited to work with this because I have it in the worsted weight and in the bulky weight. So I have a couple different options that I can use it for. And I think this one would make a really cozy sweater. I've also been thinking of the possibility of doing like some sort of sweatpants or jogger pants because I would really like some sweater pants. <laughs> Who doesn't want sweater pants? So the next color and yarn is the We Crochet Gloss Yarn. I got really excited. I, I think I've said that with every yarn that I've gotten really excited about it. So apologies for repetition. But this is the Gloss DK Weight Yarn. I have it in Wharf and Harvest. Absolutely love this color. Um, it's looks like a turmeric shade, coppery, golden, just gorgeousness. And this yarn is a DK weight yarn. It's 70% merino wool and 30% silk. Super, super soft. I love it. I'm excited to try out the drape on this yarn. And I just love all the shades that this comes in. Um, I have it in a couple of different shades that I will show you as I unbox it, but everything is so buried in here. But this needs to be a gorgeous cardigan. Or I have this idea for doing, um, a, it's like, I think it's technically a cape, but it is like a super oversized drapey sweater um, and cardigan. And I think that this would be perfect for that. Oh, unboxing all these colors makes me so excited to just start designing. I need to finish my book. <laughs> I need to finish it so that I can do this stuff. Uh, here's another one of the pumpkin pie in the provincial tweed. And then this one is the mighty stitch yarn from We Crochet in the colorway spruce. I love this shade of teal. It is almost exactly like that Shakespeare in the Park yarn. And it is so pretty. I'm really excited to actually start working with this because this yarn it is 80% acrylic, 20% superwash wool. It's a worsted weight yarn. And I really... Feel like this is a worsted weight that ha would have a lot of drape. It feels very silky, it feels very light, and um, it doesn't feel like a heavy worsted weight like something like uh, Red Heart Super Saver would be. It's just really nice and drapey and I love it. So then another yarn I've got is the Chroma Worsted Weight Yarn from We Crochet. This is the colorway Sedona. It reminds me of a sunset, so I had to get it because I love, love, love sunset colors. And then I also got it in this, uh, this is a chroma twisted one. And this one is like a sunset as well, really like a desert sunset. And it has all these pretty different shades um, worked into that. And these are both worsted weight. They are, this one is super wash wool and nylon. And then let's see, double check what this one is. Um, oh my goodness, I can't find it. There we go. This is the same blend, superwash wool and nylon. Um, but this one feels more like a usual worsted weight yarn. And this one feels more like a roving yarn. So if you've ever used Lion Brand Landscapes, um, or I think it's Red Heart, is it Red Heart Fusion? 
I'm totally blanking on it. I don't use roving yarn a lot, but this was so pretty, I just had to try it out. And I'm really excited to work that up into something. I also got this Capra DK weight yarn from We Crochet. So this is the colorway Magnolia Heather, and this is a cashmere blend. This is 85% merino wool and 15% cashmere. It's a worsted, or it's a DK weight yarn. And I got it in these really pretty purple tones. I really like how soft this yarn is. I think it'll have good drape. And this one doesn't, this one feels like the Mighty Stitch might have a little bit more drape than this, but it's still super cozy. And I think it'll make an awesome sweater design. Um, I also got the Brava worsted weight in, uh, this is Tide Pool. So it's another teal. I think, I think I have a, a lot of teal yarns <laughs> that I chose for my designs this year. Um, I also got the Capra DK weight in white, and then I have the Brava bulky weight yarn, and this is Brindle. I, I think I was going to originally make a um, bulky weight leopard sweater, but I think I'm going to go with the other one. I've got a lot of these different shades. I think I'm actually going to make a skirt from this yarn. I really want to try to make a skirt, have not made a skirt yet uh for my blog and in my designs oh and i also got this uh this is cobblestone heather it's a brava bulky weight yarn it's from it's a bulky premium acrylic and um i have so many different colors wow i don't know if i'm gonna figure out what to do with all of this <laughs> Uh, let's see. Are there any colors that you haven't seen? Oh, yes. This is Hunter. This is the deepest teal green blue color that I've ever seen. Totally and completely obsessed with it. Isn't this just beautiful? Don't you just feel like you want to curl up on a couch in a cabin? It just makes me feel all the winter vibes. I got a lot of jewel tones, I think. Um, and I got quite a few of those. I feel like it is so close to being blue or green that it can't decide <laughs> what it wants to be. Um, and there's a ton of that. Oh yes, I also got um, the Brava Bulky Weight in black because I really want to try to do a plaid design with Bulky Weight. I want to do like a plaid sweater. So I'm doing a gingham plaid sweater with the um, faux, faux fur yarn. And then I want to do a a uh, buffalo plaid sweater with red, different red tones and black, um, and probably like some sort of bear or some sort of deer on it. Um, I was going to do that last year, but it didn't work out. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. This one is a lot in the other box that I will be sharing, but this is the Big O yarn from We Crochet slash Knit Picks. And this is in Garnet Heather. So this is a super wash merino wool and 50% nylon blend. Isn't this just so beautiful? I am really, really excited to work with this one. Um, this is feels very different than this bulky weight yarn. This um, feels more like a wooly thick and quick yarn. And I think it's going to make the best sweater ever. <laughs> super excited um but it's just so pretty and i have so many other shades of it that i'm going to show you um once i grab this other box right over here okay so in this next box that i grabbed i had to shuffle things around a little bit um i have a lot of really fun products that i get to try plus a bunch more yarns that are in i think there are a lot of that those same um lines of we crochet yarn that i showed you just now but these are in different colors and there's a couple ones that you haven't seen quite yet so the first thing that i've got in my box is a yarn swift i am one of those people I leave my yarn in the skeins. I don't wind it into a ball yarn, don't wind it into a cake, but I want to change that. You guys are my witness. I am going to change because I am pretty sure I will go a lot faster if I don't have to pull my yarn in a weird way every time I use a skein. So I got a Swift and I can't wait to try it and review it. So this is a Knit Picks Yarn Swift. So this one goes with the ball winder that I have in here. Um, and I'm both nervous, 
terrified and excited to try something new, try to learn how to do this because I mean, I've got all of this hand dyed yarn that's in hanks. It's not in any form of ball of yarn. So I need to have something to help me with that because I don't want to use a chair forever. Anyone else with me don't want to use a chair or have my husband hold out his arms every time I need to wind a hank of yarn. So I got that Swift in there. And then I have so many fun bags that Lee Crochet sent me. So I have, this is a really fun, uh, this feels very retro. It's like a, uh, it's a lot like that seraphim color that I was showing earlier. This is for my Yarn Swift. My Yarn Swift is going to have its own case to be in. So excited about that. And then when I saw this little bag on Lee Crochet, I just had to have it. It is an adorable llama cosmetic bag. Oh, so cute, right? Isn't this just adorable? You know that I love llamas. I want to put them on everything. If you didn't know that about that about me, I am obsessed with llamas. And if there's something with a llama on it, I probably want to buy it. So I had to add something more to my llama collection. And I mean, I've got a llama sweater, which now that seeing these colors together, I think I might need to remake my llama sweater with these colors. But this is super cute. It's this cute little cosmetic bag that I will totally use as a notions bag. Just adorable. And I love that it has this little um, uh, hole in it so that if I want to clip it onto one of my bags that I already have, I can keep track of it on there. Um, I also really wanted to try out this, which is a clear project bag from Lee Crochet. I love project bags and I want to do like a whole review on different ones that I have, see which ones work best for different things and to show you how I store all my projects. So I wanted to try out this one because this would be really nice when half the time I put something in a project bag or a project, um, I get a lot of the fun target little storage, uh, they're like fabric storage boxes. And so I have tons of those. If I ever see them at Target, they're just in the $3 to $5 section, I get a bunch of them. So that, the, having a clear bag might be super helpful for me. Um, I also have this fun bag. I'll, I wanna take it out of this plastic so that you can see it. But I have been eyeing this awesome We Crochet bag. It is ginormous. Oh, I can't wait to use this. This is in saffron. I love anything mustard yellow. So this is the everyday tote from We Crochet. Just look at how much space is in here. It's almost the full length of my arm. <laughs> it's huge. Just look at this. I'm going to be able to put an entire blanket in here. I'm going to have to test that in my video that I'm going to be making. Um, and then this is another bag that I have been eyeing since it came out last year and it's the Hook Nook project bag. I want to put all of my fun yarn enamel pins on this. Uh, it has so much storage. There's little um, slots here to put your crochet hooks. There's these little pockets so you can put notions in it. It has a zipper, it's super deep, and I just love how boho and modern this is. And there's even a little closure on it so that it doesn't have to be hanging all over the place. So this is gonna be really fun to use and I'm really excited about having one of those. Thank you, We Crochet, for sending that. Um, this is another Hook Nook project because you guys loved my Hook Nook video so much that I had to get more Hook Nook products so that I could share them with all you. So, We Crochet sent me the yarn passport from the We Crochet, uh, from the Hook Nook collection. Oh, I am so excited about this. This is a yarn journal. You can keep track of yarn for projects. You can have photos of your projects that you can put in there. Any notes about projects that you have. I think this is so great to keep track of things. There's even like little pockets to put the pattern in if you print them out. And it's basically a yarn journal. I'm really uh, looking forward to seeing everything in here. Let's go ahead and just open it up. And gotta take some of this packaging off. Or you know what? I'll do that in another video. Um, but I will show you up close in another video coming soon of more Hook Nook stuff. 
I'll show you what it all looks like inside so you can see if you want to get it. I think you're going to want to get it. <laughs> uh, another thing that I got from the Hook Nook line was the Hook Nook yarn tool. So this is the ends weaver. It's supposed to help weaving and ends, which everyone hates to do. I know there's some people out there who really like it. I don't do it <laughs> a lot of times. Most of my designs, you'll see me like haphazardly tucking in ends. And my husband always has to remind me before we do photo shoots that I need to do, weave in my ends so they don't show up in photos. So this is going to be a lifesaver for me. Um, and then I also got these skein savers from the Hook Nook collection. Had to get them in gold because gold is another one of my favorite colors. And I have been really needing these lately. Uh, the different balls of yarn that I've been using have just been coming apart. So I need something to help hold them together. And then I also got one of the Hook Nook resin hooks because um, one of you asked me to do a video comparing different hooks. Um, so I'm going to have the two different Hook Nook hooks, the resin hooks, as well as the interchangeable hooks. And then we'll have furls and clover hooks because I have all three of them. I like them all for different projects and different reasons. So I'll be having a video up of that soon. Um, and I also got a hook case from We Crochet. So I'll open it so you can see what is inside here. This one is such a fun color. It's in, I think this is coral, but there is this really great hook case that has all these slots for crochet hooks. It has these pockets in here with padding. So if you want to store patterns or notes or different things in there, you have little zipper pockets within this. This is really cool. I'm really excited to use this. I also want to try, um, I saw on, uh, I think it was Coco Crochet Lee's Instagram account. She had something about uh, using a pencil case from Amazon. So I really want to try that out and see how that works and if I like that. Um, and a lot of these things that you are seeing are going to be in future videos that I am creating. I wanted to start having reviews be a regular part of my channel um, videos that I have here. So I have a lot of fun videos planned with all these products. I also got, because um, like I said earlier, I want to learn Tunisian and get better at it. Um, we Crochet sent me some of their interchangeable hooks. So these are Tunisian crochet hooks. They have the long, um, I don't know what we would call it. What would you call it? Would you call it like the strand in the back? Um, oh, cable. I guess it's a cable. Whoopsies. <laughs> I guess I'm totally, totally forget. But there's a 60 inch long cable in here, which that is amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm really excited to try Tunisian because I love that it looks like knitting and since a lot of what I do is trying to use crochet to look like uh, knitting with color work. I think that learning Tunisian crochet color work and getting better at that would be super fun to bring in more of that um, color work aspect. I thought about adding it to my book, but since I um, am not proficient in it yet, I didn't want to try to teach you guys how to do it. Um, but I will be doing a video that will do some tutorials on it and I'll show you my learning process as I learn how to do that technique. Um, another thing that is something that I want to bring to my business besides having review videos and doing those is I have this huge dream. I don't even know if it's attainable. I mean, I, if I work hard, I think I can totally do it. But I have this dream of having my own hand dyed yarn that I sell on my website and that I use to design color work patterns. I really just love playing with color. That's one of my favorite aspects of my job as a designer. And I just really want to create all of the beautiful colors that I imagine and that I see and um, just making like the perfect color work sweater with hand dyed yarn. I mean, look at how much I love hand dyed yarn. So I really, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of research, been learning a lot about it. 
and I have some avocados in my freezer right now because I want to try to dry uh, yarn with avocados. I've heard it's super fun and I want to try that out. There will be a video about that. Um, and then I also want to just start experimenting with acid dyes and learning how to do all of that. I've been doing so much research on yarn dyeing and I'm really, really excited. I finally took the plunge and um, We Crochet was so nice to send me some yarn dyeing supplies. So I have some bare um, twill yarn from them. They have a lot of really awesome bare yarns on their website that you can dye. You wanna make sure that you're getting a um, animal blend fiber. So something like wool or uh, cashmere or um, just, different plant fibers, not necessarily acrylic. Acrylic holds dye differently, but this is their twill yarn. It's super soft worsted weight yarn, um, and it has such awesome drape. I'm really excited to dye this. So I'm gonna be doing some of this yarn. I have, I think, six skeins of it. I'm gonna be doing some with avocado yarn. And then I got all of these acid dye yarns. So there is a yellow, there's a, um, red, pink color, I got black, green, blue, orange, and I am just going to just go to town and experiment with yarn dyeing. So keep your eyes open for that. I really want to have um, a bunch of kits that I put together, patterns that I use using my hand dyed yarn. I even had a stream of um, doing like lots of videos, introducing different lines in yarn and um, having like different designers create patterns with my yarn. Basically, I wanna be Expression Fiber Arts <laughs> because I love her business, love her videos, and I wanna to try to do that um, with more crochet designs and just have a lot of fun with that. Just, I, I feel like I can, I'm finally in a place where I can do that with my business because I have a virtual assistant now. Um, she helps me so much with all my computer work and I just, want to keep pushing the boundaries of color work. So I feel like yarn dyeing is that next step for me in doing that. And I just want to create beautiful yarn for you. So stay tuned for yarn dyeing. So I am so excited I got that stuff. Um, and then here are the red yarns that I was talking about for that Buffalo plaid sweater with Brava. Um, so these, this is uh, red and then this is that wine color that I showed you earlier. Um, and then here is more of that big O yarn. Oh, you're gonna be so excited when you see this. I got it in all of the fall shades. So I have some bare big O yarn, which might end up being dyed. We will see. <laughs> um, this is Autumn Heather, totally obsessed. My favorite color of brick red. And then this is Tansy Heather. I love this color so much. It's a lot like that gloss um, colorway that was that really pretty coppery um, turmeric shade. Ugh, it's just gorgeous. So I feel like once I start doing yarn dyeing more, <laughs> I'm going to want to dye some of this. So I might have to set some of this aside because I have a couple skeins of it and I might need to save some of that. So I've, I've got... I've got so much yarn here. If you could see my floor right now, it is swimming in products. <laughs> Uh, not that I'm complaining, because yay. Um, I also have the Gloss DK in this really pretty color. Um, this is Pine, so it's just a gorgeous hunter green color. Really makes me think of being in the forest. Um, and then I have it in this Plume color, so it's this gorgeous purple and violet. It's very, uh, I'd say it's a very vibrant violet color, but it's not... It's a, like a jewel tone vibrant, so not a bright vibrant, I guess. Does that make any sense? <laughs> um, and then here is uh, tan that Tansy Heather color I just showed you. I got that in the Capra DK as well. Um, and then this is the Capra DK in a light gray uh, Moonstone Heather. So I might be doing this as that cape that I was talking about. Um, I think that's why I got this much of it. <laughs> um, this one, I probably won't be using this color um, in, like in the original design idea that I had for it, but this is the uh, Brava Worsted Weight Caution color. It is very bright. It's 
very um, well named because it reminds me of caution signs. Um, but I probably won't be using it for that. Oh, and then here's more of that red color in the Brava Bulky. Um, let's see what other ones I've got in here. I've got more of that gloss decay in plume. And I have, oh yes, in the Big O yarn, I also got this icicle heather color. I've got so many fun sweaters coming your way. Just you wait. And they're all going to be free patterns on my blog and we'll have video tutorials. So that's something I'm really making sure I do this year. And then here is the Mighty Stitch yarn in cream. This is definitely more of a cream color. So it is uh, more of a true cream and it's it's so soft. It's going to go so well with that other color that I got. I also have this yarn ball winder, which uh, goes with the yarn swift. So together they help me be able to wind up my yarn so it's a lot easier to use. So we'll have to try that out and see what happens. Um, let's see if I've got any other colors in here. Um, oh yes, I got this current color. It's of like a red purple deep toned color love it love it uh this is a worsted weight so that goes with um my sweater idea that i had for that yarn um and then i think that i've like showed you yeah i'm looking through this giant box and it's just a lot of those extras of what i just showed you so isn't that a lot of yarn so much yarn and so many fun things from we crochet I am so excited to show you more up close of what they look like. Um, but let's go ahead and unbox um, some other yarn that I got from Lion Brand that is going to be used in an event in November that I'm doing with Knitting with Chopsticks and Joy of Motion. We are creating a collection of garments and accessories themed around the idea of back to basics. So they're all going to be beginner friendly patterns that you can have as wardrobe staples. I am really excited about all the colors that we chose. The three of us are using Wool Ease yarn from Lion Brand, who Lion Brand was so gracious to send that to us. And I am so thankful that they did because it's gonna be so much fun to work with. So I got it in a couple different colors. I got it in denim and this is our just perfectly named. It looks like jeans. Um, and then this is the, let's see, what's the name of this one? This is Gray Heather. It's so pretty. And if you've never used this yarn before, it's worsted weight. It's acrylic and 20% wool. Um, so it's 80% acrylic, 20% wool. Then I also got it in this uh, hunter green color. I think it's called, where is the name of it? <laughs> Don't you always feel like they're just hiding the names from you? Okay, this is Forest Green Heather. So again, it's a really pretty pine hunter green color. And then I also got it in this gorgeous dark rose heather. Once again, my favorite shade of purple. It's so beautiful. And I am I think this is going to be really fun to work with. I have plans to do um, a, a skirt with this green and this white. I'm going to experiment with some slip stitch uh, surface crocheting with this so that you don't have to carry your yarn while you make the design. Um, and then I've got a fun sweater that'll match with that. I have a, I think I'm going to try to do a Rana or a wrap, something that's poncho-ish and then some, a couple accessories, but I'm really excited about using all of this yarn. There's so much yarn in this box, but that's just a quick thing. Since I've just been showing you all of this yarn that I got over there, I wanted to cover uh, those little things as well. Um, so then, now that we've unboxed all my yarn, wow, wasn't that a lot? That was crazy. I wanted to real quick, before I show you some sneak peeks of my book designs, I wanted to show you some sneak, uh, some different things that I've been loving recently. I really enjoyed doing that segment in my last podcast episode, so I wanted to bring it back to this one. Um, so some of the things that I have really been enjoying is I got some new, I got some new lounge fly bags. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, but I got this adorable Baby Yoda backpack. I'm, I'm just calling him Baby Yoda because that's what generally everyone calls him. I always call him the child. But isn't this just the cutest? Isn't he so adorable? 
<laughs> just in his little cradle. I just love it so much. And the little zipper on here is a frog. Oh, it's so, so cute. And then I also asked my uh, virtual assistant who lives uh, close to Disney World, I asked her if she could get me this forky backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that so fun? And it says Bonnie on his little popsicle stick feet. Um, so these were going, these were selling out at uh, the different parks and I um, haven't had a chance to go down to downtown Disney now that it's open again. Um, and Disneyland's still closed right now, uh, but Walt Disney World is open. And so I'm so, so glad she was able to get this one for me because it's so cute. I haven't used it yet, but I, I'm really looking forward to it's actually a really huge bag so I might use it for um, a project bag but these were my two lounge fly bags that I've been loving recently super excited that I got those um, I also have been doing a ton of reading because um, I was sick for about uh, like almost three weeks this last month that's why I haven't been doing any recent podcast episodes I had so many plans of different things that I was going to do that I was going to work on, but I got really sick. I thought it was COVID. Um, it turns out that I tested negative both times. I had all the symptoms, had the same experiences as people who have had it, but I don't know. I guess you can still get sick with something else during a pandemic, but I've been doing a ton of reading. My goal is to read one book a week, and sometimes I do two because I get so excited, but um, I really loved reading Serpent and Dove. This is by Shebley, or Shelby um, Maharin. I think I'm saying, I hope I'm saying that right. But this is a really cool book. It is about a, um, it's a, like a romance uh, fantasy adventure set in, uh, set in France. And I think it's supposed to be like the 17 or 1800s. And uh, the main girl, she is a witch who is in hiding. And then the um, boy is a, um, a, he's like a, works for the church, um, it, like the Catholic church or something like that. But it's very fascinating. I love reading it. Such a great story. So much good suspense and character development. Highly recommend this one. Um, and then this was another one that I liked recently. It's All the Stars and Teeth. This is a really fun adventure uh, fantasy book. If you like Avatar The Last Airbender, then you will love this book because the magic system in this fantasy novel is very similar to Avatar The Last Airbender. I got really excited because that's one of my favorite TV shows. And um, so this book is a highly recommend this. This is by Adeline Grace. And she actually worked as an intern on Legend of Korra. So it totally makes sense when you read it that that's where she would get her magic system idea from. So I had a lot of fun reading this one. Um, and then I also got a ton of enamel pins recently. Uh, I got some that were on sale and I just had to snag them and then I got some Disney pins. Um, I Here, I'll show you my Disney pins first. These are the Peter Pan, Minnie Mouse, and the main attraction pins. I know these are not yarn related, but I'm really excited about them, so I wanted to share. <laughs> uh, but I have been collecting all of these this year. It's been really hard to do while during COVID, but um, because of the way that Disney's had to sell them. But I really enjoy all the ones that I have. I unfortunately don't think I'm gonna get one of the raffle tickets for this um, month's one. I have been waiting for the email, but I don't think I got chosen and I'm so sad about it. So I might have to buy them through eBay, but these are, uh, this is the series six one and it's based off of the ride Peter Pan. All of the ones that they've made, they're based off of attractions from Disneyland. And that's been really fun for me because I just am a total nerd when it comes to Disneyland stuff. Um, I also got these 65th anniversary Disneyland pins. I waited nine hours in a virtual queue. Thankfully, it, I just had it up on my computer and I could do things throughout the entire day, but I waited so long to get these. Um, so this one has Mickey and Minnie and says 65th anniversary and Disneyland on it. 
Um, and this one says the happiest place on earth. This was a uh, annual pass holder exclusive. I wanted the other one because uh, it had the Haunted Mansion logo and then the dates on it. But this was the only one that was available when it was my turn to buy. So this is the one that I got. But I'm really glad that I got some 65th anniversary merchandise. I also got some fun yarn pins recently. And uh, these are by Home Row Fiber Company. So this one says, I see yarn in my future. It's a little crystal ball, super cute. And then this is a spin on a quote from Lord of the Rings. And it says, all we have to decide is what to do with the yarn that is given to us. It has like little uh, magic wands that are crochet hooks and then little skeins of yarn on it. I have been wanting this pin for such a long time. So I'm really excited that I got to get this one. Uh, these were on sale, so I had to snag them. Uh, definitely check out her stuff. It's super cute. And then um, Leather Co. also had a really cute yarn pin, and it is a little yarn pineapple. How adorable is that? Pineapple is one of my favorite fruits. I um, got to, I've had a couple chances to go to Hawaii. Love, love, love Hawaiian stuff and um, tropical things. So when I saw this pin, I got super excited. So the little pineapple part is a yarn ball and then it has the top of the pineapple. Um, if I do yarn dyeing and have collections and stuff, I am planning on making a bunch of fun yarn enamel pins to go with that because I have such a huge enamel pin collection and I know that you guys love enamel pins too. So I had to, uh, I've just been brainstorming all these different ideas of what I could do uh, as different enamel pins for my hand dyed yarn. Um, so that is really like all the stuff that I've been loving recently. It's not a lot because I've been sick, but I wanted to share all that stuff with you because it's super fun. I really love sharing the different things that I love and hope that you guys love it too. And oh wait, I forgot about one. Um, my husband and I, we just started doing puzzles again. So this is the one that we are currently working on. We have gotten a couple of puzzles from thrift stores and now we are totally hooked on it. We have, uh, the puzzle is completely covering our dining room table. This one is actually really huge. And I think what we might start doing is hanging up the puzzles that we make. You can get like these really cool backs for it where it's like a peel and stick back for puzzles. And then you can have that, um, you can put it in a frame or different things. I know that a lot of people do that and I thought, why not? Let's do it. So not only do we get to have fun and be entertained with putting it together, but then we can admire it afterwards. So this is a fun one. It is really hard because there are a lot of different doors. There's a lot of different types of brick, a lot of red doors, but it's been really fun. And I have a ton of Disney puzzles that I want to get as well. Um, but that has been really cool. And I know that this episode has gone really, really long, so I won't take up too much of it, more of your time. But since you stayed this long in the episode, I wanted to make sure that I gave you a little, little sneak peek as to what I've been doing for my book. So you, I think you're gonna be really excited about this. Um, all of these designs of my book, they are designed to teach color work, to be beginner friendly, so that you don't have to worry about that different stuff. I walk you through the different steps that you need to know, like how to carry colors, how to change that. And they're all pretty basic color work, so there's nothing super intricate that you will have to work with when you make any of these designs. So I'll just show you a little tiny, tiny, tiny sneak peek of it. I'll just kind of, just like this. This is part of the back of one of them. That's all I will say. You can pause it and look at it, but uh, it has vines on it. It's going to be a cardigan. And I guess I said a little bit more than that. Um, and I use Lion Brand Kobu for that one. And then this is another one too. It's uh, a, all of these are, a lot of my designs in this book are panels so that it's a lot easier to do the color work for it when you're first starting out. But um, here's a little sneak peek of this one. It has diamonds on it and it's made using Lion Brand jeans and it's a top and that's all I'm gonna say. But there's a little sneak peek so you can see what I'm working on. I Once I start working on other designs in my podcast episodes, I will include 
some current projects that I am working on. But for now, this is all I've been doing is just crocheting my book stuff. So you get a little sneak peek into what I've been up to lately. Um, but that is all that I have for you today. I don't have any fun topic that I'm going to talk about besides all this yarn stuff that I showed you. Um, but I really hope that you enjoyed seeing all the fun yarn that I have been getting recently and that I will be designing with for the fall. I have so many fun plans with all of this yarn that I can't wait to share with you. Um, if you want to be the first to know about all that stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and like this video and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. I'm going to be getting into a much more regular schedule with my videos. So you won't want to miss out on those. There's so much fun stuff coming. I am super, super excited about it. And um, I really hope that you just enjoyed hanging out with me and talking about yarn and crochet. And um, again, just hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of this stuff. So I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next time here on the Eclair Bakery Podcast. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like it below if you enjoyed watching it and hit the subscribe button if you never want to miss out a video from me and also check out my other videos and tutorials on my channel. See you next time.